This is a video about how this tomato plant uh, inspired me to think different about tomatoes and, and how I'm going to grow them next year. So this is a, t a volunteer tomato plant that came up on its own. And it is the best looking tomato plant I've ever grown. I mean, look at it. Greens are beautiful. The leaves are beautiful and green. The flowers are developing fine. It hasn't set any fruit yet, but it got a late start. But it looks beautiful. I haven't touched it. I've watered it through this irrigation system. Not very frequently though, maybe once every eight or nine days on this. Uh, I mean, I'm not really keeping up with this bed as much because it's all uh, stuff that's gone to seed and, and gone to flower. So, um, so this got me thinking: what is you know what's so special about this tomato plant? Why why is this doing so much better than everything else? And here are some of the reasons why I think that this tomato plant is beating all my others. And to show them, I'm gonna go over to the other tomatoes and show you what I'm talking about here. So this is my tomato wall that I have up against the fence and one big difference between these tomatoes and the tomato you just saw is that uh, that they get full sun all day. Now I did build this shade wall here but I should have built a much bigger one. It's not doing near enough to, to actually help with shading the plants. So that's the first big difference and somewhat related to that is the fact that I also had to prune these heavily. These are the ones that got hit with the herbicide. Um, a few weeks back and I had to prune all that damage off and what it did was it exposed all these leaves to where now they're all getting the brunt of the sun they're not shaded by their by their fellow leaves so that's the second thing I learned is I'm not going to prune tomatoes anymore um, and the third thing I learned is that I don't want to deal with trying to trellis them up this thing and if I'm not going to prune them that's going to be a mess so I, I'm done with this whole single wall single stem tomato method and what i mean by that is up until now i've built these walls i've kind of followed the square foot gardening method for tomatoes where it says you build uh, he recommends using twine that you run um, over some uh, steel posts but those were a lot more expensive than going this route so i just put up t-posts and then these hardware mesh panels that i got from home depot for about eight dollars each and i would prune the tomatoes down to one or two stems and train them to grow up and that may work well in other places, but here in Oklahoma, it just gets way too hot for that. And some, I, I heard that advice early and I, I ignored it and I shouldn't have uh, because now I've, I've learned my lesson. So this is what I'm going to do next year. I'm going to use these tomato cages. The, a friend, a friend gave me some of these to try out and I'm going to build them a little bit bigger than that one, but I'm going to switch to those for next year. So I don't have to prune anymore. But you see this one here was planted in full sun in a cage and it's still not looking too hot either. Now it's had a lot of insect damage. It looked like a maybe a tomato hornworm get on it because I see a lot of the foliage that's gone from the top. But still, it's, it's not looking near as well as the other ones. So this is where the third thing comes in. And that's the, I'm going to. Hi, Mary. Hi, they just got home. All right, I forgot where I was, but I think it was on the third point, and that's that shade is a huge factor in all of this. So this tomato gets full sun, or this tomato plant gets full sun all during the day. You can see it looks like this, whereas the tomato you saw a minute ago, and then I've got some other tomatoes that have been volunteer tomatoes that have been over here on this side. So this one here gets a lot of shade from the squash, and see it's looking really good. And then I've got another volunteer tomato right here it's looking really good one other thing i wanted to mention about how i'm going to grow them next year uh, i'm not going to grow varieties that are going to get this tall uh, i'm going to stay with varieties that are either determinate or semi-determinate varieties that aren't going to get much taller than this cage so that is another mistake i made this year as i planted these indeterminates inside of this cage and thought i would just trellis it and handle it as it went but uh, it's, it's already getting out of hand and it's going to get even worse before the season's over so recap there are four main changes I'm going to make next year about how I grow tomatoes so the first one is I'm only going to grow them in areas that are shaded in the afternoon so here for example on the east side of my house it's shaded you know from two or three o'clock on and it's and, the, and these are where the tomatoes are, are doing really well the volunteers that I showed earlier second I'm not gonna trellis them on the uh, the single stem method that I was doing before on the flat panel I'm just gonna use those cages that I showed earlier and let the tomatoes grow up inside of those and then related to that I'm not gonna do pruning um, if I do do any pruning it'll, it'll be very minimal it's not gonna be uh, what I'm doing now to where I'm going through and I'm pruning them down to a, to a single stem 
So anyway, I wanted to shoot a quick video about tomatoes and talk about what I've learned this year. Uh, some of the mistakes I've made and some things that I'm going to do different next year. So thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, go to www.seedthespoon.net and check them out there. Thanks. Thank you.